Hello, my small wonders. Are you ready for a story? I'm Tracy, and I've got an inspiring book for you today. This one's a little bit different from the books that I usually read to you. It's a bit of a grown up book, so I hope you enjoy it, and I'm sure Mummy and Daddy would enjoy it too. This book is called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. What an interesting group. Shall we begin? Well, there's the boy, and that must be the mole. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy. But you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. What do you think success is? asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. That's exactly what I say when I see a cake. Hmm. I think the mole and I would be very good friends. Do you have a favourite saying? asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny taste. Well, it looks like the mole is stuffing his face. With the whole cake. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh, but I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? Oh, the same thing seems to have happened. <laughs> the mole really does love cake, doesn't he? What do you think is the biggest waste of time? Comparing yourself to others, said the mole. Hmm, I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they had listened less to their fears and more to their dreams. What is that over there? It's the wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. Oh, look, that must be the fox. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare. I'd kill you, said the fox. If you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things. And look. Do you see? His footprints made a heart shape in the snow. I've learned how to be in the present. How? asked the boy. I find a quiet spot and shut my eyes and breathe. That's good. And then? Then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake said the mole. Cake seems to be on his mind all the time. Isn't it odd we can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside? So there's the boy and the mole staring at their reflections in the water. Be careful not to fall, 
Oh dear, the mole has fallen into the water. But look, the fox has jumped in to save him. And there's the boy giving the fox a big hug. So much beauty we need to look after. Do you see the shooting star in the sky? Have you seen a shooting star before? Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. We often wait for kindness. But being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. And you know what? He's right. Sometimes we forget to be kind to ourselves. Often the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. There they go, walking deep into the woods. I think everyone's just trying to get home, said the mole. Well, it looks like they've met a horse. Hello. Hello. And it seems as if the four of them are getting along just fine. Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it? asked the boy. No, said the mole. Wow, look at them having so much fun together. And that looks like a huge leap over the water. But uh-oh, looks like the boy has fallen off the horse's back. You fell, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse. But we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. What is the bravest thing you've ever said? asked the boy. Hmm, help, said the horse. When have you been at your strongest? asked the boy. When I have dared to show my weakness. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. Sometimes I worry you'll all realise I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. I wonder where they're off to now. Let's find out, shall we? We all need a reason to keep going, said the horse. What's yours? You three, said the fox. Getting home said the boy. Cake, said the mole. Can you believe he's still thinking of cake? I've discovered something better than cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. What is it? A hug. It lasts longer. And there's the boy giving the fox a good hug. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and carrying on is brave and magnificent. And who do we have here? Two beautiful swans swimming on the lake. How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. 
There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Is it the moon? asked the boy. It's a teacup stain, said the mole. And where there's tea, there's cake. Cake again. Be curious. Hmm, that looks like the moon, doesn't it? Life is difficult, but you are loved. So, you know all about me? asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. You'll catch up, said the horse. The fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There's something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that? said the boy. I can fly. But I stopped, because it made other horses jealous. Well, we love you, whether you can fly or not. It looks like the horse is slowly opening up his wings. Don't they look magnificent? OK. He looks a lot more confident now, doesn't he? And up, up, up he goes. Is your glass half empty or half full? asked the mole. I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. When the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. This storm will pass. After the storm. And where are they off to now, I wonder? We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole, but I find it difficult. Do you, said the boy. Yes, so I say something like I'm glad we are all here. OK, said the boy. I'm glad we are all here. We are so glad you are here too. What's your best discovery? asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am, said the boy. I've realised why we are here, whispered the boy. Hmm, for cake? asked the mole. To love said the boy. And be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts hurt? asked the boy. We wrap them with friendship, shared tears and time, till they wake hopeful and happy again. Do you have any other advice? asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way you are treated, said the horse. Always remember 
You matter. You're important. And you are loved. And you bring to this world things no one else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? Thank you. What a wonderful book about love, friendship and kindness. But most importantly, how we have to remember to take care of ourselves and to be kind to ourselves, to believe in ourselves, to trust ourselves. To not be so afraid of what we're not sure of. If you liked this book, don't forget to press the like button for me so that more people can see this story. And I'll see you for our next story, my small wonders. Bye-bye.